everyone what's up it's almost here that's right the nfl uh so you guys uh hopefully you're still watching a little bit of major league baseball if so i got 15 free plays for you right here uh all we got to do is uh you know compare my model to vegas opening lines and boom there we go confidence factors <laughs> all right let's get you started here <laughs> all right here we go Gotta get all this stuff off the screen. Oh, I'll get me off there too. All right. All right, here we go. We got the Rays versus the Orioles. It's Zach Littell, 3.86 over his last five games, 4.04 this season versus Corbin Burns. He's elevated right now, 6.31 over his last five games, 3.19 this season. Orioles offense right now batting 3% lower than their season long average over the last five games. That means we're going to go ahead and take the Rays on the run line. A little bit of, no, not quite plus money, but, you know, we're going to take them here on the run line. We have this one basically a virtual tie, four to four. And so we'll go ahead and take them. Comes in at 64.3% of the time. All right, next. <laughs> It's the Sox versus the Sox. It's flexing 4.56 over his last five, 5.36 this season versus Brian Bayo, 3.26 over his last five, 4.75 this season. Red Sox right now, they just nipped them again by two, so they did not quite get them on the run line there yesterday. Uh, but the Red Sox offense right now, they're scoring 1.5 runs less than their season long average. They're also 3% lower. We keep on talking about this. They're actually not hitting as well as the Sox team. Uh, but it's one of those White Sox offense. They tend to kind of fail to show up for the most part, right? So we're going to go ahead and go under this total. You can see we have it basically a tie, 9 to 9. But I assure you with all of the rounding that is involved, our play here is going to be on the total under. It comes in at 54.2% of the time. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Man, Jays versus Braves. Rodriguez, 6.26 over his last five, elevated from the 4.61 this season. Sale, he's been getting it done. 1.36 ERA over his last five, 2.46 this season. Braves offense, they're still 3.2% lower than their season long average. They're struggling to capitalize on opportunities, hitting 209. Uh, Braves offense still kind of ugly when it comes to crushing the ball, only slugging it at a 543. We're going to go ahead and go under this total. Have the Braves here winning. Not quite on the run line, but the total under is our best play. It comes in at 56.6% of the time. Our text play of the day. Well, we were one and one yesterday. We got uh, the WNBA, did not cash with the Cincinnati Reds. They gave up two walks in a row and then gave up the double. Uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. So we're going to go ahead and go back on this one. It's Corbin versus Jones. If you want this play, all you got to do is text the word WIN, W-I-N, to 223-203-1821. If you guys send it overnight, I'm sleeping, so I won't find you till the morning. Uh, and I always want to make sure everything is in perfect order. Sometimes I have to wait for WNBA. So I will get these out to you before game time for sure. All right. Let's do it. Here it is. Reds and Mets. Aguirre for 6.48 over his last five. We also have Severino, 2.93 over his last five. Mets offense, they've been kind of hot here as of late. Uh, scoring 6.29 over their last five. They're 1.5% more over their season long average. They keep capitalizing on opportunities, scoring 6.29. And the Mets right now, they're 15.3% higher on all of those offensive impact categories, right? Run scored, batting average, on-base slugging, all that kind of good stuff. So we are going to go ahead and take the Mets here. We're going to lay the one and a half. We have them winning by two, six to four in a big scoring game. The run line here comes in at 59%. Wow, look at these. You got to pay a lot of money. You got to pay 10000 to win 100 Hey, that sounds like a good deal. <laughs> uh, so, hey, uh, it's hard to get a good help, I tell you. Uh, but the Phillies' starting pitcher is Johnson. I don't have him as the three starts yet that I like to see or five starts. 
Uh, that means I will go ahead and take a look at this as a bullpen game. So that's what we're looking at versus Cabrera, 4.23 over his last five, 5.33 this season. Uh, Philly's bullpen has been excellent here as of late, 1.305 less than the Marlins over the last five. Philly's offense staying hot, 6.42 runs over their last three. Uh, plus the Phillies right now hitting 305, slugging 876. And the Phillies offense is 11.0% more than the Marlins over the last three games. Again, the Phillies time, tend to mess up every once in a while with Wheeler on the mound. And I'm pretty sure they did that again. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and go back on the run line. We have them winning 6-3. to three, So they should cover that this time. Let's go ahead and take it 64.3% of the time. All right, the Twins versus my Royals. Woods Richardson, I like this guy. I really do. Uh, 4.26 over his last five, 3.95 this season versus Waka. 3.33, he's been averaging over his last five. Been steady, 3.5 over this season. Twins offense, they're not scoring all the runs like they should be. 1.5 runs less than their season-long average. 3.1% lower than their season-long average in all of those offensive impact categories. Twins offense only slugging 647. That's right. We're going back on the Royals at Kaufman. We have a winning, well, a statistical tie, 4-4. Four to four. Tie goes to the Royals always. Uh, and, of course, in our modeling, 5.1% more is the Royals, is the home team in this situation. <clears throat> this one comes in at 59.5%. Let's go Royals. All right, Rockies and Brewers. Freeland on the mound, 4.44 under his 5.3 ERA this season versus Mr. Peralta, 2.54 over his last five, 3.75 this season. Brewers pitching, they're getting it done. 1.21 runs less than their season-long average. That Brewers bullpen is 2.325 better than this Colorado Rockies team. And, of course, the Rockies right now, they're 11.1% lower than the league average on run scored, batting average, on base, all of those offensive impact categories. Rockies offense only mustering a 197 right now. We're taking, that's right, the Brew Crew again here on the run line. Have them winning 5-3 to three right on that number 8 total. Uh, the run line here comes in at 59.2%. I like it. Let's do it. <coughs> ah, this was our... VIP play, and of course, it went all the way till the eighth. Gilbert could not get it done, so did not come home here for the Mariners team. But now we're back on Castillo, 4.2 ERA over his last five, 3.6 this season versus Nicholas, who's been, I don't know, terrible at best, 6.04 over his last five games, 5.27 this season. Mariners offense, look at they're on a heater, 4.5% higher than their season long average. They've been averaging 5.57 runs per game. What is this? It's not like they got a new hitting coach or anything, right? Edgar Martinez. Uh, but yeah, the Mariners offense, 12.4% higher than the league average. All those offensive impact categories. And right now, 794 slugging. Let's go over this total of seven and a half. Look at this. I have a huge score coming up today. Six to four, a 10. No brainer here, right? 58.1%. Game 10, Yankees and Cubs. Garrett Cole, exceptional, you guys. 1.59 over his last five, 3.65 this season versus Jamison Tyone. He's elevated 5.16 over his last five, 3.66 ERA this season. Now, this is going to come down to the Yankees have just been underperforming with the bats and the Cubs. We know them. <coughs> Excuse me. He's been putting up, not he, they've been putting up what? Tons of runs. They got to do it here today, right? Okay, maybe not. Modeling doesn't quite have them scoring a ton, but enough to go ahead and take the Cubs here on the run line. It comes in at 59.1%. Next. There it is. The Angels and the Rangers. Dana, 3 ERA over his last three versus Andrew Heaney. Also a 3 ERA over his last three, 3.81%. This season, this Dana kid is pretty good. This is going to be, what, his, like, second start or so? <coughs> Excuse me. But the Rangers, they haven't been getting anything done, and I like this new guy. Uh, Rangers right now, 572 on base slugging. Not going to get it done here today. 
But we're going to go ahead and take that angel team. We have them winning outright. I don't mind that. But we're going to go ahead and take the run line because this one here is the highest percentage. So we win this one more times than not, 64.2%. Let's take the halos. All right, Guardians and Dodgers. Nope, that's not it. Tigers versus Athletics at Oakland Coliseum. Madden on the mound, three ERA over his last five games. And we have Ginn for the A's, 4.3 over his last five games. Athletics here still are getting it done on offense, slugging 872. They're 4.8% higher than the Tigers right now. And when it comes to on-base slugging percentage, they're 23.8% better than this Tigers team. We got to go ahead and take the A's at home on the run line. We have them losing four to three, but with that one and a half runs, we get a winner 62.5% of the time. <clears throat> Man, I'm struggling with this cough, I tell. All right, Guardians and Dodgers. Tanner Bybee, 3.95 over his last five, 3.56 this season versus Jack Flaherty. 3.86 over his last five, saying steady, 3.01. This season, Guardians bullpen ERA in the last five is under three. So they're doing pretty well out of the bullpen. And the Dodgers right now scoring 1.5 runs less per game than their season-long average over the last five. Dodgers right now still only hitting 208. So we got to go back again on this Cleveland Guardians team. We'll take them plus one and a half to get us the victory here. It comes in at 64.1% of the time when our model as the Cleveland Guardians at this spot versus Vegas opening lines. All right, Giants and Padres. Bivens on the mound, 4.5 ERA over his last five. That's elevated from a 2.86 versus Coffee Joe Musgrove. Uh, he's been really, really good. 1.3 ERA over his last five, 4.09 this season. I mean, they're just getting it done. And the Giants offense is weak at best. They're hitting 196. They're slugging 580. They're 11.1% .1 lower than the league average in run score. And all of those offensive impact categories. We got to go ahead and go under the total. We have the Padres here winning four to three, but that's way under the eight. I mean, way under seven. Let's take it under 54.1%. Our highest on the board. I mean, not our highest. This is our highest on the board. It is our VIP play of the day. If you want this play, all you got to do is go over to OGCappers.com and you can find us under the All Cappers tab. You can scroll down past a whole bunch of winners and find our daily pick selection. Usually comes out around 10 a.m. Central Time. Uh, but yeah, this is our highest on the board. If you want this one, make sure you go to OGCappers.com. Check it out. Also use the promo code OG15 at checkout to save you 15% on this pick. All right, let's get it. <clears throat> oh goodness, I'm telling you, struggling today, struggling, struggling. Uh, but congrats to my Huskers. That was pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, so we got a lot of NFL. It's going to be a fun day. I love playing fantasy, so I'm going to watch a lot of that. All right, you guys. Hey, I don't know too much else. You guys have a great day. We'll catch you again tomorrow after you get all those winners. We'll see you later.